Welcome back fam, it's Why Paints. Today, I'm getting a bit bird brain because I'm painting Vulture from C27. I had a good time painting this fine feather fiend, so let's get started. To begin, here's a paint list I'm gonna be using. From P3, there's Bootstrap Leather, Midland Flesh, Bad Bruise, Meryl White, and Menoth Base. From Vallejo, I'm using Desert Yellow and German Camo Green. I also use Seraphim Sepia and Bellatan Green Shades from Citadel. And lastly, I'm testing out Kraken Skin from Army Painter. I started with the base and coated the tree with Bootstrap. The rocks got a coat of Menoth, and Desert Yellow handled the sand. Due to how the vulture will be posed, most of this base will be hard to see. Because of this, I feel keeping it just to a base and a shade should be fine. When I print a mini, I can get a little antsy wanting to get it to the table. Maybe someday I'll come back and add more to this base, but for now, this should be good. Jumping to the main figure itself, I started off by basing his suit and wings in German green. I low-key love this green. It's slightly desaturated, so it's a great green base and it shades well. With all those feathers and texture, a shade is going to be the all-star on this mini. Next, I blocked in his fur collar in Menoth White. While that dries, I wanted to take a moment to thank my patrons. Your continued support allows me to make great content like this. Thank you. Now back to the vulture, and he's ready for some shade. The entire base got a coat of sepia, then I called an audible and used the same shade on his wings. I got the feeling that the brown shade would give me a nice contrast on the green, and once it dried, I found out that it did work out. The next step is dry brushing on German green to tone down a bit of the shade. This reestablishes the German green tone and sets me up for my next level of highlight. For the first highlight, I'll be using a 50-50 mix of German green and Kraken green. I use this first step as a dry brush. After just a few swipes, I can already see the effects. Once that dried, I switched to my tiny brush and put the final highlight of pure Kraken skin. Then I got a little paint crazy and used this highlight on his chest and arms. While this is a bit stark, I was able to tone it down with Velotan Green later, but for some reason my camera deleted the video, so you have to trust me on that one. Moving on to his skin. I made a 50-50 mix of Midland Flesh and Bad Bruise to use as his base coat. I like this slightly purple undercoat for skin and have been using it as my skin recipe for a little bit over a year without any issue. Once the base cured, the next layer is a mix of mostly Midland Flesh with a touch of Bad Bruise. This layer would be the main tone of the skin, so I covered most of the base, trying only to leave the first layer only visible in the deep cracks. Finally, I went over this with pure Midland Flesh. I kept this light and tried to use this highlight to reinforce force the previous layer rather than be a visible highlight. Then I gave his collar once over with Menoth White to brighten it up a bit. Right after this is when I gave his body a green wash I had mentioned earlier. And here we have Vulture after final assembly. I wanted him to have a slightly off kilter pose as if he's about to take off or just landed. He definitely looks like he's going to give some meddling heroes some problems. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to hit that sub button. It'll let you know when I release my next video and it'll give me the nice warm fuzzies. And if you have a suggestion of what I should paint next, leave it in the comments because I want to hear them. Finally, if you'd like to check out C27 and get some of their sculpts for yourself, you can find a link to their Patreon in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.